Hello and welcome to CMU Coffee Chat. I'm Scott Queen and my partner here today is Dr. Joe Parisi. He's the Vice President for Enrollment Management at Central Methodist. Each week, Coffee Chat is going to address emerging programs and timely issues at Central Methodist. And our first one is going to be about wrestling at Central Methodist. And Dr. Parisi has a little bit of experience in that wrestling game. Yeah, so um, wrestling has been a major part of my life uh, since the mid-80s, uh, but certainly I had a 16-year stint as a college coach, uh, loved the opportunities I had within the sport, uh, and truly value that the same principles uh, that I learned uh, growing up through the sport of wrestling are the same success principles that helped as I moved on into the start of my professional life as well. What are your priorities with the launch of wrestling at Central Baptist? Uh, I think a, a couple of different things come to mind when we're talking priorities. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we're one of the smaller um, athletic programs in the conference. So in order to get take us out of that bottom quartile and move us into the middle uh, quartile, um, adding a couple of new sports is very impactful for the college and so when we went into feasibility study to determine what does make sense and looking at the amount of conference affiliates that have the sport of wrestling both on the men and women's side it was just an easy mesh and made perfect sense as being that next step program for us to start well and I think it's to talk about impactful you know, the wrestling has been in the heart of America conference for a long time but that's men's wrestling Talk about women's wrestling and what a game changer that is. Yeah, so women's wrestling has really taken off. Uh, you know, specifically here in the state of Missouri, there was over 150 new high school programs. Uh, we are now one of 12 states nationwide that hosts women's wrestling. Um, this is a big deal. This is a time where, um, you know, the, the term gender equity takes on a whole new definition. Uh, uh, here at CMU, uh, we truly believe in the value of athletics. We truly believe in the value of male sports. We believe in the value of female sports. And this is just another opportunity for us to showcase that. When's, when's the next biggest wrestling announcement and what that what might that be? What's the next step? What are people going to be excited about next? Sure, I think a couple things come to mind. Uh, you know, first and foremost, the, the big questions are who's going to be the head men's coach? Who's going to be the head women's coach? Uh, everybody wants to know those answers. Um, I can say that we just have some outstanding candidates uh, and we're, we're just now starting that process uh, of interviewing. So, um, uh, Rest assured, we will put the best possible individuals in those spots that we can uh, to take us to the next level within the sport of wrestling. This is a great opportunity for prospective students. And what would you say to a prospective student looking into a wrestling opportunity at Central Methodist? Well, this is exciting. I mean, uh, wrestling in mid-Missouri is a big deal. Um, thinking about bringing wrestling to Howard County, uh, certainly at the kids' level, certainly having an opportunity at CMU for high school seniors, uh, to take that next step in their career and really pursue uh, that passion uh, within the sport of wrestling. Um, I mean, there's many different variables that say, why CMU? Uh, there's so many great things going on here. Our athletics program is 13th in the Learfield Cup right now. We won a national championship in men's soccer this fall. It's certainly an exciting time to be a part of Eagle Athletics. Now, you take that a step further and think about the wrestling aspect. Um, coaches are going to be a big deal. Uh, the renovation of Klingenpeel, you're talking talking about a major renovation of a facility just for the sport of wrestling. Uh, that's a big deal and, and um, you know students are going to attract one because they want to be at Central Methodist. They understand the value of our academic programs. At the same time they also understand the value of what athletics brings within that component um, and then solidifies that passion that they have to continue on and pursue that at the collegiate level. Well you mentioned Kling and Peel Hall, one of the most historic locations on this campus. What is, what's going to happen for wrestling? Is that going to be wrestling's home? Yeah, that'll be a home for men and women's wrestling. Uh, the architect has been designing plans. Uh, we've obviously started a fundraising campaign. Uh, literally just met with a donor uh, this morning before I came over here that was just super excited uh, within the community to be able to bring wrestling to Howard County. And, um, you know, I think when you think about a wrestling facility, as a coach, um, uh, you want to aspire to have the facilities that not only attract the type of student athletes that you want at the college, but also put you in the best position to be successful as a program. Central Methodist University will have that.
as a national champion wrestling coach, you're, you're going to want to bring that to Central <laughs> Methodist as well. So tell me a little bit about you're well, gonna wanna, You're going to want to win pretty quick. Yeah, I mean, I, what coach doesn't, uh, when they start anything, uh, want to win, right? I mean, I think uh, as an end result, um, there's a reason that the scoreboard exists. And so, although you want to do it ethically and responsibly and do it the right way, um, I think every coach has a passion and desire to win. But make no mistake about it. Um, uh, my heart is in all of Eagle Athletics. I want to win on the football field. I want to win on the softball field, right? Uh, but I also want to win on the wrestling mat. And we're going to do everything possible that we can and continue the commitment that we have within our athletics program to provide that commitment for the sport of wrestling. One last question. Talk about the importance of the support of Dr. Drake and the Board of Trustees here at Central. Yeah, so I, one of the great attractions for me as a prospective employee 18 months ago to really look at that fortitude and, and, and thought leadership that takes place at the trustee level. Uh, uh, Central Methodist University trustees are top notch, top tier, and are super focused on, on the success of the college. Uh, uh, as a prospective vice president, that was very attractive for me. Uh, and then I had an opportunity to meet Roger Drake. Uh, when you think about the, the great opportunities that you have to be around great minds and great leadership and great vision, uh, you know, Dr. Drake emulates all of those attributes. And so I think you, what you see at Central, the success that you've seen over time, uh, starts with that thought leadership, starts with somebody uh, at the trustee level, uh, our, our chairman, our board of trustees, and our president being committed to the success of the college, whether it's with our band, our music programs, our academic programs, or even our athletic programs. Uh, and we continue to show that commitment year in, year out. And I think that's one of the, the great ingredients that makes CMU so special. Thank you, sir. We'll see you again next week. No problem.